If it's sparks, then it's gotta be it. Now I'm just gonna lower the heat and I'm gonna cover this up and let it sit for like four to three minutes. And just like that, my sauce is done. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Brittany. Please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Tonight, I'm going to be making Alfredo sauce, but from scratch, we are getting rid of jar sauces. So if you guys aren't familiar with my food playlist, please make sure you check that out on this channel because on this channel, we cook, we like to eat, and tonight, we are getting rid of jar sauce. We are going to make our Alfredo pasta sauce from scratch. I cannot wait to share this recipe. Everything is going to be so easy, but yet so delicious. So if you guys are interested in learning, then just keep on watching. All right, so let me show you all the ingredients that I'll be using tonight. I'm using fresh Parmesan cheese. Trust me, you definitely want to use block Parmesan cheese because the already grated cheese just doesn't do the trick. It's just not as rich as the block cheese definitely get you fresh parmesan cheese that you can grate do not get the stuff that is already grated don't be lazy girl take that extra step get you a block of cheese i also have some philadelphia cream cheese this is like the actual secret to the recipe so you definitely want to make sure that you have some cream cheese of course heavy whipping cream for your sauce i typically use fresh garlic but tonight i'm just going to use this minced garlic i have a stick of butter and then of course i have my cheese grater to grate my fresh parmesan and i always toss in some salt pepper and cajun at the end all right so the first thing i'm going to do is grate my parmesan cheese I think this block of cheese gives you about one cup. And I like to make sure that I make enough because I like to have extra. It's nothing like when your Alfredo sauce settles in the next day for leftovers. Oh my goodness. Like it tastes so good the first day, but the next day when that sauce settle in, listen, bomb. Okay, bomb. All right, so I have one cup of the fresh grated Parmesan cheese here. I'm gonna be using the minced garlic. Like I was saying, I'm just gonna use one tablespoon of that. But if you're at home and you have the fresh garlic, make sure you use two garlic cloves. So now I'm gonna get ready to make my sauce. The first thing I'm gonna do is melt this butter on the stove. I'm gonna put the heat, I'm gonna add a flame to like medium low and I'm gonna add my tablespoon of garlic. All right, so let's go melt this butter on the stove. all right now i'm just trying to infuse the garlic into the butter i got the heat on medium pretty low low heat and I'm just gonna let it take its time to just melt into that garlic. All right, so after your butter is all melted and that garlic is kind of infused, you're gonna add two to three cups of heavy whipping cream. It depends on how much sauce you wanna make. I wanna make some extra, cause girl, I want some leftovers. Now I'm gonna add in my three cups of heavy whipping cream. And I'm gonna to switch to my whisk so I can break up that yellow and white mixture. I wanna get that really blended in pretty good. So you might wanna stir this for an extra couple of minutes just to get that butter and that whipping cream and mixed up really good. All right, so at this point, all of the yellow is pretty much stirred in. So you don't want to see any of that and that's exactly when you'll know that you mix it in pretty good all right now i'm going to add in my grated parmesan cheese and i'm going to stir this in i turned the um flame up just a little bit it's not on high but it's just a little bit higher than um low so it's kind of like on the highest point of medium and i'm just going to stir this bad boy in 
gonna stir this up until like the cheese begins to melt all right my sauce is nice and hot i know that it's ready for my cream cheese because it's bubbling so now it's time to add in my two large amounts of the philly cream cheese and let me tell you this makes such a difference for your sauce this is definitely not something that you want to leave out it just makes the texture a little bit thicker but it also gives it a lot more flavor pretty much ready I'm ready to add in some salt and pepper now I'm just gonna lower the heat and I'm gonna cover this up and let it sit for like four to three minutes and just like that my sauce is done All right, so I have my chicken on. It's almost finished, and I'm going to add in my linguine noodles. That's my noodle preference. When I make Alfredo, I just love to use linguine noodles. And next, I'm going to saute my shrimp because shrimp takes like two minutes, and my Alfredo will be done. All right, my pasta is complete. I have my chicken and shrimp already thrown into my Alfredo sauce. Over here, I'm just gonna add a little olive oil to my linguine noodles, and then I'm gonna sprinkle a little parsley on top. I like the mix I threw on my noodles. All right, and let's begin to plate this bad boy. And last but not least, I like to sprinkle a little bit of Cajun on the top of mine. This is preference. I like my food to have a little kick. Mm, it smells so good. And there you have it. Alfredo sauce. You can add your own toppings to it. However, I like to add chicken and shrimp to mine. Whatever you like to add. Or you can just have Alfredo sauce in your linguine noodles. Yum. All right, guys, that concludes this recipe for tonight. I appreciate you guys tuning in. My mouth is literally watering. I cannot wait to dive into my food. It looks so delicious. It smells so good. It was really quick. I know it might have seemed a little longer because I wanted to break down everything, but this is such a quick meal, and who does not love pasta? I'm a pasta lover. So if you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Sparks in the sky to be a